Let me say this clearly. Most people have the wrong idea about cybersecurity. They think it's all about hacking to technical mastery and reverse engineering malware from some bunker. But what if I told you that the roles quietly driving the most value and in many cases earning just as much if not more, are the ones you never hear about. And this isn't just theory, this is the actual hiring trend. The World Economic Forum predicts that by 2027, cyber governance roles like compliance, risk, and privacy will grow faster than offensive or engineering positions. Meanwhile, in regulated industries like finance, health, AI, and cloud, you can't even launch a product without GRC sign-off. So why are we still pretending like cybersecurity is just about hacking Thing. Today I'm breaking down the top 5 cybersecurity roles that most people overlook but companies are hiring for aggressively. And yes, many of them pay just as much as technical roles without requiring years of coding experience. Let's start from the top. Cyber risk analyst slash risk manager. This is the role that turns chaos into clarity. Instead of reacting to breaches, risk analysts map out what could go wrong and what to do about it before it happens. Their job is to ask questions like, what's the likelihood of a cloud outage in this region? If we lose access to this system for six hours, how much revenue is at risk? If a vendor gets compromised, who is legally responsible? These rules use tools like FAIR model, ISO 27005 or NIST RMF. But the key skill is translation, turning technical exposure into business decision. They're the ones in meeting with leadership helping prioritize what to fix and what to accept. And that's where influence and compensation comes in. Compliance lead, policy analyst, or audit coordinator. Still think compliance is just checking boxes? Wrong. Compliance is what determines if a company gets licensed, keeps its customers, and avoids million dollar fines. We're talking HIPAA in healthcare, SOC2 in SAAS, PCI DSS in payments, GDPR, CPRA, and the new AI regulations hitting in 2025. Every one of these requires policies, evidence, control testing, and and reporting. Now, here's what most people don't get. Technical teams often hate doing these work, which means the person who steps in with structure, templates, trackers, reports become instantly valuable. In many orgs, that person ends up talking directly to regulators, auditors, and legal counsel. That's not non-technical. That's high trust cross-functional work with real stakes and it pays accordingly. Privacy program manager or data governance analyst. If you've used an app in the last year, you've seen the impact of privacy laws. Accept cookies, manage preferences, download my data. But behind every one of those buttons is a team managing legal risk, data workflows, and technical constraints. These roles touch data classification, cross border data transfer, compliance, privacy impact assessments, PIAs, consent frameworks, vendor data agreements, and with the explosion of AI tools, biometric data, and algorithmic decision making, privacy roles are exploding in demand. The average salary for a privacy program manager is already above six figures, and it's only going up. Third party risk analyst or vendor risk lead. Here's the uncomfortable truth. Most major breaches in the last five years didn't start inside companies. They started through vendors. SolarWinds, MoveIt, Okta, Cassia. That's why third-party risk is now on a board level concern. If you can assess vendor security posture, contractual obligations for breach reporting, SOC2 and ISO 27001 documents, high risk versus low risk vendors, residual risk from SAAS platform. You are directly reducing exposure. That means your work saves real money and gets recognized. This is one of the most scalable career paths from anyone coming from procurement, legal, compliance, or finance. It's not about scanning networks, it's about scanning contracts and controls. GRC automation slash tooling specialist. Now here's where technical folks can shine. Without needing to be offensive security pros, many companies are drowning in compliance debt. Hundreds of controls, dozens of systems, audits every quarter. They want 
automation, pulling evidence from systems automatically, triggering compliance workflows in Slack or Jira, dashboards for real-time control status, connecting asset inventory, tools to risk registers. You don't need to build from scratch. There are platforms like Drata, Vanta, Tugboat Logic. But if you can connect tools, write light scripts, and understand workflows, your goal. This is the GRC engineer role, and it's growing fast. So let me leave you with this. The future of cybersecurity isn't just about penetration testing and malware analysts. It's about strategy, structure, policy, governance, and business resilience. The people managing risk registers, building audit trackers, or automating compliance workflows, they're not technical. They're the reason businesses can function securely, and they are getting paid accordingly. So if you think cybersecurity is still about writing code, you have been misled. So. If you found this video useful, leave a like and share this to a friend. And comment GRC if you want to get your start in cybersecurity. Until next time, subscribe and stay tuned for more useful information with better cyber careers.